Big dubs for the Toronto Maple Leafs as they defeat the Winnipeg Jets by a score of 3-1 to one, and they boost their lead in the North Division to three points over the Winnipeg Jets. Welcome back to Maple Leafs Media. I'm your guy Jake and this was a very entertaining game unless your name is Paul Stasny. Austin Matthews opened the scoring in this game just four minutes and 40 seconds into it off of a juicy rebound for his 24th goal of the season, and he continues to lead the NHL in goals and make a run for the Rocket Richard this season. Then just five minutes and seven seconds later, Zach Hyman taps home a goal, but man, Mitch Marner did the work on this one. Marner made the big man, Logan Stanley, look silly. With a couple of great plays as he curls this one around a falling Logan Stanley off the post, off the arm, and on the back door. In the first period of this game, the Toronto Maple Leafs were dominant. They won the period by a score of 2 to nothing, and they outshot the Winnipeg Jets 14 to 5. They also drew three penalties in the first period, which is a recurring theme. They had five power plays on the night, but they didn't capitalize on any of them. But in the second period, the Toronto Maple Leafs were far from dominant. They committed nine turnovers and were outshot by a total of 17 to 6 in the second period. But these numbers are just a tad bit inflated as the Toronto Maple Leafs spent 30% of this period, six minutes of this 20 minute period, on the penalty kill. And that's because Jake Muzzin took a bad slashing penalty. It was a lazy penalty. And right after, literally right after, the Toronto Maple Leafs killed that penalty successfully, and right after, another penalty to TJ Brody. This was a four-minute double minor. TJ Brody literally took a baseball swing at Paul Stastny's face as he was trying to hit the puck and bat it out of there. But TJ Brody literally knocked Stastny's teeth out. And to add insult to injury... On this penalty kill, the Toronto Maple Leafs capitalized shorthanded as Alex Kerfoot buried his sixth goal of the season. Far down goal on a breakaway. Great shot. Great work from Kerfoot. But then just 45 seconds later, the Winnipeg Jets struck as Josh Morrissey wired a slap shot from the point. There's nothing Jack Campbell could do. That makes it a score of 3-1. to one. And it would stay that way the rest of this game. The third period was very back and forth. It was a defensive battle and just five shots for each team in that period. This game had a real playoff vibe to it. It was the number one and number two team in the North Division, and these two teams battled it out. This matchup failed to disappoint. The Toronto Maple Leafs were playing with togetherness, and they were putting their bodies on the line. They were sacrificing their bodies for this win. It was a much-needed win when you look at the standings. The Maple Leafs blocked 17 shots tonight, which is the most they've had since March 3rd when they played the Edmonton Oilers in a 6-1 victory. And in that game, they blocked 20 shots. Now, there's a recurring theme here. If you block shots and get in front of shots, it's obviously making your goaltender's job much easier. As less shots get through, that increases the chances of a win for the Maple Leafs. The Maple Leafs played with a different level of togetherness in this game, and it showed. This was one of the best defensive performances this team has had in the 2021 season. And with this win, Jack Campbell advances to 7-0-0 on the season. Perfect record with another stellar performance. He made 26 saves on 27 shots out there. Campbell has been impeccable out there for the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has been exceptional throughout this 2021 season when he has been available to the Maple Leafs. Whenever Jack Campbell has been on the ice, he has stole the show. He has been dealing with injuries throughout the entirety of this season. But if he can stay healthy and continue having dominant performances like he has been putting together, I don't see a way that the Toronto Maple Leafs can give anybody else the crease. With this win, the Toronto Maple Leafs advanced to 23 wins, 10 losses, and 3 overtime losses on the season. And they now hold a 3-point lead for first place in the division over the Winnipeg Jets. These games against the Winnipeg Jets are going to be pivotal down the stretch of this season to see where we seed in the standings. And Toronto plays Winnipeg again in Winnipeg Friday night. 
you better believe the Winnipeg Jets are going to come out firing. They are going to give the Toronto Maple Leafs all they can handle. It is going to be another great game, and I will be here live on Maple Leafs Media post-game, doing a post-game show to recap the game that was. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, I'm your guy Jake. Go Leafs, go! Big dubs for the Leafs. Three-point lead in this North Division. Let's keep it up. The Maple Leafs have been rolling recently. Hope for more Friday night. Until next time, go Leafs.